It's a blustery night outside, but this one just warm, cozy, and intense. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to drop the puck on this EA Sports Hockey League showdown. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Puck is dropped to that hockey. Scores! And they get on the board and talk about a quick start here. I don't think anybody's ever really ready for a goal this early in the first period. Now it changes the complexion of the game. I think he almost gave up on this. He can't find the puck and he just stands there. This thing beats him cleanly. He never saw it. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Here's a short pass to Kane. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Feeds it down low. What a steal in his own end. Quick pass to Gregory. Heatley's going to play it against the half wall. Set it out in front. And they can't convert to the play. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Shaw. Here's a chance. Shaw scores! Quick blast, no chance. Minnesota's won the draw. Couldn't connect on that pass. Charlottetown's got control of it now from their own end. Slides it to Mickey Moose. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Moose it to Heatley. And he comes up with it. Puck picked up by Marshall. And he slides it quickly to Green. And it's a quick pass to Shaw. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Dished on over to Mickey Moose. And they fail to go tape to tape. Moose it quickly over to Gregory. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Slides it quickly to Green. Can't catch up to the pass. Nothing doing on that. Throws one up to Green. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. Takes that pass back at the point. He scores! Up the defender and into the net. The Islanders got to be feeling better about themselves after getting that one, Ray. Yeah, they cut the lead to one here and now have a little bit of momentum before the intermission. Gregory's one possession. Here's a short pass to Mickey Moose. Charlottetown's on the attack. Sends it out right in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Move to the middle. And he takes a shot. Oh, target. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Quick pass to Marshall. Gets his stick on it. Stopped by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame. Charlottetown still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Denied by the goaltender. Mickey Moose carries the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Gregory. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes the feed at the back end. And that's blocked away. Taken along the wall by Shaw. Quick feed down low. That pass goes a little sideways. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And that's picked up by a teammate instead. Marshall's got it in the defensive end. Couldn't find the intended target. Grabs control of it at the point. No one home on that play. 
Gregory swooping in on the attack. To his teammate, can't connect. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. He was locked in there. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. They go on the attack through center. Moves it around along the half wall. Look out, and they score! Getting into the later stages of this period, Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck grab by Kane. Can't find his man. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Shaw's getting called for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Trying to get it out of danger. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Takes it to the front. Scores! That's surprising. So quickly they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Minnesota's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. The Americans played along the wing. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, it was there. It was there. It's in a great spot. He just airmails this. Stays with it. Driving right to the front. His reflexes on display tonight. Uh, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Take the shot. Shot in front. Turns it away. Dano's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. Well, there's the horn. 20 minutes in the book. I think one team's still trying to figure out what happened. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. Minnesota's shorthanded unit has done a solid job to this point. Just a few more seconds to spare as they win the draw. Here comes the pushback. Heatley's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Makes the save. Kaya's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Moves it to Heatley. Now it's a two-ball game. Well, now they've got something to build on here. They feel now, I'm sure, like they're in the game, because when you're down three, it seems forever away. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Charlottetown still down by two goals in this one. Minnesota's won it. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Oh! Moves it on over to Green. 
streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Puck scooped up by Kane. Here's the pass with the stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Right on the doorstep. Scores! And that's the hat trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers. You're dealing with the line matchup. And it doesn't matter where you are. Three is a great night. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Couldn't complete the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Gregory. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The power play unit goes right back to work. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Heck, you want your power play to at least be even for the night. They gave up a shorthanded goal earlier. Here's a chance to redeem that. Let's it fly! Just fly to the net. Nice poke check. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. There's a tough call to take here. Interference is the call, Ray. Battling away for the puck, you end up taking a little bit too much of a liberty and you get whistled for interference. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. The five on three can be such a momentum builder. Of course, you got the chance to score twice. And a nasty whack after the whistle here. Yeah, he went after him pretty good there. That's a hard slash. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's got a three-goal lead. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Charlottetown's got a hold of it along the wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Wow, scores! The power play delivers big time! Puck moves quickly. The players move quickly. That's a terrific goal taking advantage of the extra man. Charlottetown still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Moved out in front. Sit down. Put the hard hat on here. What a hit. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Tripping the call here. Always makes me crack up since I've retired and how guys argue about penalties that are so obvious. Two minutes is two minutes, and off to the box he goes to think about it. Charlottetown's got it in their own zone. With possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Stoner. Quick feed down low. Right in front of the net, and he makes the save. And that's broken up. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Tries to clear. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Sends the pass down low. Marshall's got the puck in his own zone. And he moves it up to Kane. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Mickey Moose has the puck against the half wall. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Heatley. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Charlottetown still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. The Islanders win the draw here in the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. Charlottetown's got it now. Heatley's taking the puck behind the net. The Americans have it against the wall. Passes it over to Green. Kane's got it on the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Not able to connect. Charlottetown's got the puck in their own end. Takes a shot. Grabs it with the glove. Minnesota's looking to break out. And here's the pass to Shaw. 
Charlottetown's got it in the neutral zone. Knocked away. Quick pass to Kane. Couldn't make that one happen. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick feed to Mickey Moose. Denies him. He got all of it. Scooped up along the wall by Marshall. Slides the puck over. Breakaway. Wow. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway. He makes no mistake. It looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net. And the puck beats him with the shot. Charlottetown's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. Fails to find the open man. Icing his calls, stopping the play dead. The centermen glide into position. Charlottetown's got it in the offensive zone. They've got the puck now. They've got a tired defensive group to play against. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the block. Sit right. down! Can't connect. Grabbed along the boards by Green. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. Great stop by Hellebuck. Charlottetown's got the puck along the wall. With authority! And now it's grabbed by Heatley. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Made that stop. Denies him again. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Look out, a two-on-one. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Stick save and a beaut by Hillebuck. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Third period action is underway, and let's see if the fireworks will continue here. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Americans are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Manages to hang on, and now he angles it across to Shaw. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Green, taken by Shaw. The Americans have the puck in the corner. Slides it on over to Stoner. Charlottetown's got it in their own zone. And we've got a two-on-one. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. 
Charlottetown's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. The Americans get a hold of the puck off the draw. From the point, they take control of it. Musa quickly over to Kane. There he is from the slot. There it is. There's the hat trick. That puck barely hit the back of the net, Jane. And his teammates are already up on their feet. Everybody enjoys watching a player get three. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Play whistled dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Passes on over to Kane. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Hellebuck's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Gregory's won a big draw on their own end. Handles the pass at center. Charlottetown's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and, maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Passes right to the front. Stick saved by Hellebuck. Picked up along the boards by Kane. He scores! That's three, Ray. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept... away now they've got three minnesota's added to their lead here in this third period it's been non-stop i like how they've scored and then gone after the next one james they've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night good use of the body to knock them off the puck they go on the attack from the left side slides it across and that one's broken up and now he passes up to mickey moose tries to get the puck over to gregory that pass doesn't go. Taken along the wall by Marshall. Rocked him along the wall. Charlottetown's got the puck along the boards. Mickey Moose looks around. Here's a short pass to Heatley. Picked up along the wall by Marshall. Takes the pass. Charlottetown's ready to go on the attack. And now he moves it to Heatley. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Charlottetown's got the puck now. Gregory's stick handling in his own zone. Great stick work with the steal. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And it scores! scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Excellent shot. He gets... His stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough. It's just inside the post. Charlottetown's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Heatley's got it against the boards. Hammers it from the point. Denies it with the save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Puck picked up by Heatley. Charlottetown's ready to go on the attack. Heatley's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Quick pass to Green. Here he is with the backhander. There's the physical side. Now over to Mickey Moose. From the right side and up the middle. Quick feed to Mickey Moose. He scores! 
there's the hat trick, and here comes the hats. Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Charlottetown's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Moves it to Gregory. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Sends it down low. Kay has got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. The setters will glide into the dot. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. All alone! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. And that's just out of reach. Moves it quickly over to Gregory. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. The Americans gain possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that's broken up. Now a quick pass to Mickey Moose. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Mo just plays it now. And he passes it up ahead to Shaw. Puck grabbed by Kane. Takes it to the net. He scores! Unbelievable rate. Are we watching something historical tonight? It's not over yet. There seems like there's more chances in it for him. Gregory's won the draw here in the neutral zone. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hammers a shot. He scores! What a goal! Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in ten seconds. Well, in the immortal words of Roberto Duran, no boss here. This is one-sided now. Yeah, it's not going to end quick enough for them either. They are getting hammered. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Hammers a shot! And we are all over with this one tonight. Minnesota's offense spent most of the night lighting that red lamp behind the net. A quick pass, a quick play, and a chance, and it didn't need to be multiple chances. That thing was in the net in a hurry.
Welcome back, everyone. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. Looking forward to this EASHL showdown. Referee Gilles ready to drop the puck on this one. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. There's been a healthy buzz for this one. Now it's time to see if it lives up to the hype. Here's a short pass to Alfredson. From the slot, fires away. Scores! And they get on the board quickly here in this one. When we were talking to the coach this morning, he said on the road, his team has a tendency to slumber their way into games. Not today. Sudbury's got the game's opening goal, and it didn't take long. They attacked early. It's like the home team wasn't settled into the game yet. And tries to make Hammer a tackle time. pass to Mickey Moose. Denied that one. Alfredson's lugging the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Firk. There's the whistle icing the call. Lots of time left in this period. Sudbury's up one zip. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Those faceoffs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck and they're a little tired. Turn that chance aside. Trips won the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Mustakia. Can't connect. And they fail to go tape to tape. And now it's over to Mickey Moose. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the extended stick ends that one. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Gregory's won the draw here in the open ice. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Alfredson's gaining momentum. Excellent stick work on the play. And that banks off a stick. Yeah, let that oh, go. rocked along the boards. I almost feel the boards rattle where I'm standing here, James. That's a solid hit. Sudbury's got a hold of it against the wall. Charlottetown's got possession at center. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Puck scooped up by Heatley. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Mickey Moose is on the attack. Moves the puck down low. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. It's a two-on-one. From the backhand in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Couldn't connect on that pass. Moves it over to Heatley. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Charlottetown's got control of it now from their own end. Works it across to Dano. Down the right side and into the zone. What a steal in his own end. Sudbury's got it across the line. Charlottetown's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Gregory. Nothing doing on that. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it to Firth. Trips dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. That's set in deep. Moves it quickly over to Gregory. Charlottetown's across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Gregory. Pass right on the doorstep, and that one's broken up. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Denied by the goaltender. Here's the official call. The Islanders have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Into the offensive end now. Shaves the puck away. Gets it out of his own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Here's a pass down low. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. 
Alfredson's got it along the wing. Couldn't catch up to that pass. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Great chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. Time winding down here. One last chance of this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. they got to get it into the zone quickly. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Too passive. Not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Takes a shot. And he rings the post. Charlottetown's really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even. But that shot off the post won't help them. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Dano's taking it from his own end. First period nearly in the books here. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the later stages of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Islanders with time for one last rush. Headman pass. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Sudbury's got possession here in their own end. The first frame is complete as the horn sounds, ending the first 20 minutes of play. The Wolves get off to a good start. They lead 1-0. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Sudbury's been really good so far. They're playing defense by being in the offensive zone. They have the majority of the shots and a one-goal lead. Lots of time left in this period. We got a one nothing game to this point. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Ferk's got it along the boards. Sit down. He got all of that hit on the play. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. The Wolves have it now. Picks off the feed. Tries to get the puck to Heatley. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Islanders get a hold of it. Sends the pass over. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Quick pass to Triff. Moved in front. Can't connect. Slides the puck to Mickey Moose. Charlottetown's moving it into the offensive end. And that pass goes awry. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing the score. The Islanders win the face. Looking for that glitcher, eh, Stopped bud? Stopped by the goaltender. 
Good save. Positional save through traffic. Gets a hold of the puck behind the net. Maintains possession. Quick feed to Gregory. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Sends it across. Moves the puck behind the net. And he slides it quickly to Marr. From along the half wall. A shot. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Charlottetown's won the face-off deep in their own end. Moves it to Gregory. Strong defensive effort. And now it's grabbed by Gregory. Moves it quickly over to Heatley. Booming shot! Denies him on the slapper! Moves the puck up to Triff. Here's a short pass to Mickey Moose. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Past the midway mark in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Sudbury's won it. Mars got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Forces the turnover. Burke's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Islanders will lose a man tripping the call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Mars got it into offensive territory. Beats it down low. Levels them with the hit. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Wolves have it against the wall. Mars moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Burke. Nice pass. Good hit on the play. Sudbury's got the puck along the boards. Great defensive effort with the strip. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick feed to Alfredson. Charlottetown's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. It scores! Well, the momentum is clearly switched now, James. Back-to-back -back goals for them. Sudbury's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, of right? Of course it Simple. is. Simple. And now he tries to get it across to Marr. And he gets in the lane to block that. Couldn't complete the play. That opportunity is rejected. There's another stop. Here in the late goings of the period... Sudbury's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. The Wolves have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Triffs won the draw. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Grabs it in his own end. And he slides it quickly to Mustakia. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Gregory. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Unable to reach that one. Slides it up to Mickey Moose. There's the whistle. Oh, oh he ripped that right huh. after the whistle. What's he thinking? The centermen glide into position. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he sends it across to Alfredson. No one home on that play. The Wolves get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, and he 
tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Launches it from the point. Horn sounds to end the second period. Sudbury's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing, and they lead it 2 set. We'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Charlottetown had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Tries it to the crease. Came up with the save on that play. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick feed to Heatley. Blocked in traffic. Slides the puck over to Mustafia. And he coughs it up with the pass. Big time stop there. Right out in front, and they can't connect. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. Stays with it. Tries to feed it over to Alfredson. Can't find his man. The gotcha. Wolves. He clearly doesn't like that. Triff's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Into the corner of the attacking area. Moves it to Triff. That pass goes a little sideways. Charlottetown's got the puck in the defensive end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Gregory. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Taken by Firk. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Sends it over. He scores! That's two! Earlier in the game, he was able to score. I thought he's kept his energy up, and now has worked hard enough to get himself into position for another one. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Triff's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Alfredson's got it in the offensive zone. Now he slides it up to Triff. And it's a quick pass to Firk. Mars got the puck. Couldn't find the intended target. Oh, and down he goes on the ice. Oh, he thought he's got a step. Shuts him down on the breakaway. Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening, but it's turned aside. The Wolves continue to lead big here in this third period. Trips won it in their own end. From the left side, takes the pass. And sends it just out of reach. Charlottetown's got it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Dano. Whoa. Scores! The captain delivers! Charlottetown's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. It gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. And now he moves it quickly to Heatley. Lays the body. Sudbury's got it in the offensive zone. Passes right to the front, and they can't convert him a play. Right in the low slot. Stones him in front. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. 
Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Great defensive effort with the stick. Can't catch up to the pass. Slippery's got a hold of it against the wall. There's the whistle icing the call. The Wolves continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Charlottetown's won the draw. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. To his teammate! We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Trips won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Mar. Can't get a hold of that pass. On the attack along the boards. Charlottetown's got the puck along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Gregory. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Sudbury's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Trips going to play it against the half wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes the feed. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. And let's see what the call is. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. And with that call, it's a brief five-on-three man advantage here. Face-off win, quick puck movement, quick shot. You don't have much time on the five-on-three. That's your script. They get it out of the defensive end. Sends it quickly to Gregory. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. In the final moments of this period, the Wolves have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Sudbury's penalty killers get a hold of it. The Wolves move the puck in the defensive zone, and they manage to clear it. Looking to break out here on the power play. Charlottetown's gained possession along the boards. Slides it across to Dano. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great poke check on the reach. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. Gets in front of it. You break it they score! There, well, that one went off a skate and passed the goal. To light the lamp! Sudbury's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive. Goal after goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down. Go get more. Because you make yourself feel better. You build your own confidence. And you put this thing on cruise control. Stop that one. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. The Wolves played along the boards. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Slides the pass over to Alfredson. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Sudbury's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Stoner's got it in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. James is on the bench. The extra attacker's out. And the puck clears the zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. A critical faceoff looms here with the empty net. When the goalie's out, this faceoff is all important. Win the draw, have a chance. And he slides it quickly to Heatley. And he slides it quickly to Gregory. All hands on deck here as the extra attacker is now out. There's the hole. Every once in a while, everything comes.
comes together for a complete victory. And I felt that's what happened tonight. They had the puck, they shot the puck, they got it back, they shot it again. Really a dominating performance. You know, I know people like to point the finger at goaltenders when they give up lots of goals, but in this case, it's hard to blame him with the amount of offense that he was seeing there. Well, there's no way he's going to be able to hold the door shut. That was domination.